Hey, you tiny with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. If you're new, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. So today we are looking at our email signature. Some of us have a very fancy looking email signature, some of us don't. So I'm gonna give you some avenues that will really spice up that email signature if you're wanting to you know, do over the top and also just applying a very basic update to your email signature that'll clean things up just a little bit. So a lot of people use Lion Desk. The first part of the video is going to be broad. It's gonna be for everybody. You can apply this to any software that you have that sends out emails. So if you don't have a CRM or if you don't have an email autoresponder and are just using a email signature from your Gmail account or Outlook account, this is gonna work for you. But the latter part of the video is going to be an instructional, an instructional video that goes deep into LionDesk to show you how to actually make it work. So right off the bat, let me just show you my email signature. It's not the greatest in the world, but it's certainly not the worst. So that's, that's good, right? <laughs> that's, that's a good standard of measure, right? Not the worst, but also not the best. So you see I have my image, I have a few icons here and there. So this is an HTML um, signature, is what you would call an HTML signature. There's two ways that I would recommend on how to actually get that, um, get this design. It would be going to Fiverr and then just typing in email, HTML email signature, which makes it a live signature, something you can click through and you're on your way. Essentially, it provides them images that just really enhances it, spices it up a bit, and you see these email signatures all of the time, whether you're communicating with other agents or communicating with vendors. It's nothing new to you, right? So some of you may have it already, but it's very important to um, just cover it so everyone has a good understanding of, of where these come from. So again, you look and you just get a provider and you're off and running. The cost on it, most of them, especially something this simple or basic, is gonna be $5 plus the $2 surcharge that Fiverr charges. So this is one avenue. There's another avenue that I would recommend, which would be Wise Stamp, and this is a monthly fee. I have not used them directly. I have other agents have used them and they swear by it. So I know that it works, and it's essentially the same thing. So you see the business, uh, the professional style email signature that they create for you or you create yourself just typing in some information and boom the result comes out very quickly then you can just embed it over in your email signature and you're off and running so this is a, another option for you the links will be in the description below so whichever one you go with essentially you're looking at roughly about six bucks give or take a few dollars to do it that way but if you don't want to go that route if you want to go down the free route which in this channel again we are big fans of free so that's what I'm going to show you today we're going to do Lion Desk which again you may have another software and that's completely fine we're not going to get into semantics you can do a lot of the same principles it may actually be easier actually not may, it is easier on your Gmail accounts and Outlook accounts to create something similar than the way that you're gonna see it done through LionDesk, just because of the way that you have to do it. So let's just dig in. To get here, you have to go to the top right, you go to the profile, which it's not gonna do anything outside of just refresh the page. And then you're gonna to go to your email signature. Now let me zoom in so you see it a little bit better. All right, all right, all right. So as you can see, whenever I got the HTML file from one of the vendors in Fiverr, I just copied it and pasted it here. So that's why you see it kind of go off the go off the reservation there. It's gonna goes it goes off uh, off the the box here where if you were to do it, just input it in yourself, you wouldn't be able to do this or no yeah you wouldn't be able to do it so this is completely from Fiverr um, Y stamp will work the same way but that's why you're seeing it kind of going off the grid here but 
to get something relatively close to this is not all that difficult, although it is tedious. So just be cognizant of that. So if it's worth the $6, the $7, whatever's going to cost you on Fiverr or Wise, uh, Wise Stamp, if it's worth to do that and just come and embed the code, then great, you're off and running. But if you would just want to clean up a few things here or there, then this is a good option for you. To get the image, which is the number one question that I get whenever people uh, reach out to me about the email signatures, especially mine, to get that on Lion Desk, you first have to go to Documents and upload an image. So this is not something that you would download directly from your files or upload directly into here because it's not going to work. Um, let's see. Let's bring this back and show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, documents. For an image to show up on LionDesk, it'll have to go through here first. It's gonna go through your document section. Let me just add a folder real quick. Test folder email signature. Create folder. All right, so it's grayed out because there's nothing there right now. Then we're gonna go over here. Now it's gonna ask me, what do I want to upload? And let's just say, for the sake of this example, we want our Facebook, yeah, logo PNG file. That'll work. So I'm gonna right click, save image. And this would be if you want people to be redirected to your, to your Facebook account or your LinkedIn account or your Twitter account or your uh, image. So if you wanted to do your image like, like me, then you would just directly upload it here unless, you're, unless your image is only on, on the website, which you would do the exact same thing here, but chances are you have it on your file somewhere. All right, so I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna drop it in here. Or maybe not. There we go. You're going to click here, and then you see that it uploaded it. The important thing here, and this is where it gets tedious, you click through and then you get a URL. This is what you need. So you uploaded it to their server and it's going to be pulling it from there. So this is the important part. Without doing this, it's not going to work. Again, it's not a copy and paste endeavor. Um, so you have to go to documents, you have to upload your image, and once you upload your image, this URL is very important to make it work. You're going to go back to your profile and going to go back to edit your email signature. And let's see if we can zoom in. All right, here we go. Since I already have it how I want, I'm just gonna do a, a demo test. So right here, let's just say I wanted to upload an image, which is exactly what we did. We just prepared to upload the actual image. You would go here where it says image, and that URL that we were talking about that's right up here, we're gonna control V, which is control paste. You can put alternative te text if you want. That would just meet whenever they they hover on the image, this is what it'll show up. And right off the bat, you see in the preview that it's quite large. So we do want to minimize this. This is where the tedious part comes in. The functional part of going and uploading it to the document section, getting the URL, that's the functional part. That's simple and straightforward. The tedious thing is making the images match up and line up as they should 
and um, this is going to help you do that. So on the on the width, it'll automatically adjust the the height because you've locked in the ratio. Now, let's just see what that looks like size wise. It's not too bad. That's not a bad size at all. Now we're going to double click on it. So far, we've put the URL that we're going to pull in the image from. Now the important part is where are we going to redirect them to? You go to the link. This is where you do the redirection. So we're going to go to my Facebook. Click on, click on me. I'm going to click this and then paste that and I want them to open a new window every time they click on that and then you're set so I know that it's gonna work this is exactly how it works I would send myself an email but I don't want it to be too long. That is effectively how you upload an image. Now, this is the most difficult part uh, of the entire email signature. So the rest of it is going to depend on how you want it to look. It's going to depend on um, the color scheme and everything else like that. But for all intents and purposes, the image part seems to trip up the most amount of people. Again. If you don't want to go through this exercise of uploading your image, getting the ratio right, doing the correct color scheme, making sure that they align the way that they should, and all of that, then yes, I would suggest you go over to Fiverr, pay the $5 plus the service charge, or get you a monthly subscription to a Y stamp, which I believe they have teams. You're able to create multiple per month. If you don't want to go through the, man, the manual aspect of creating it, then that's what you do. But if there's some touches that you can do to your email signature right now that will make it pop, then certainly this is how you do it. The most important part being that image, of, image upload. So outside of that, I hope this was beneficial. If there's any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out some of the other videos in this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Lastly, join our growing Facebook group full of content to help grow your business.